Okay, in this video we're actually going to be looking at taking our image that we created in Photoshop in our previous lesson um, and actually then placing it in the same spot as our little U-Win sticker. So I'll just quickly show you what I'm replacing. This little U-Win label I'm actually going to replace with a texture. So to do that I'm actually going to go to my finish line object which is that collider that I use or the trigger and there is a script there, a trigger script. I'm going to select that and double click to open. Once it opens up in Mono Develop, what we actually have is we need to actually go and replace, we need to first find out where is the UWIN component um, that actually gets displayed. And if we quickly look down in our on GUI function, we can see that GUI.label and that's the UWIN section. Now, what we actually need to do is we actually need to replace with the winning picture. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to replace with you win, which is in a string, to winning picture. Now, you'll notice that if I put it in quotation marks, it will appear the same as you win. But if I type in winning picture, and I might even put a capital P there, what it's actually going to be is it's a variable, which means it needs to hold information. Now I need to tell it, just like the finished part, I need to tell what type of information it's going to hold. So up on line two, I'm actually going to type down var to define it as a variable, winning picture, my double dot or colon, and I'm actually going to define it as a texture. Now this texture actually means it's going to be an image. And I'm just going to end that with a semicolon. Once I save that with Control S or by going File, Save, I can actually go back to Unity and you'll see that when I select the finish line in the hierarchy and in the inspector window, you'll now see that there's this winning picture and none texture appears. So what we can actually do is we can actually apply that picture to it. So what we can do is we can actually either do it one of two ways. We can either select images and drag and drop the UWIN bar banner on top, or I can actually click the little dot on the side and it brings up a whole heap of different pictures. Now because this game's already been created by Unity, there's a lot of different bits and pieces in here. Um, so you can do one of two things. You can actually go down and start searching for it. Now I know it's called banner something, so it will appear like that. Alternately, I could just do a manual search for that one as well, and there it is. So I'm just going to double click that one. And you'll see that now that winning picture doesn't say none texture, it says you win banner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit play, see if that actually solves our issue. And as soon as I race and I win, now that's still appearing very, very small. So I'm actually going to make that larger. So let's have a quick look. When I select my image in the inspector window, it actually tells me that it's a 512 by 128 image. So what I can do is I can actually go back to my script and change these two numbers. Now remember, the first number is going to be my width of my image or my button, and the second number is going to be my height. So my width of the image is going to be 512, and my height is going to be 128. Control S to save, and you'll see 512 and 128 are those two numbers, and it's again in its order. So if I go through and hit play now, let's see how that works. Okay, so I've got this U1 appearing, but there's something that you might notice about it, and that is purely, you'll actually see that the center of the screen is where the top of the image is. is. The actual U1 part isn't in the center. So I actually want to make that U1 section back up in the center. So how do I do that? Well, there's something that you need to have a bit of a think about. So I'm just going to go back to Photoshop and create a, a new image just to demonstrate what I mean. And you don't need to actually do this, but let's just go through and do just a simple US paper. Okay, so inside this, let's call this our screen. What we'll actually have is we'll actually have a couple of bits and pieces. So the very first thing is if we went through and put down a line down the center of our screen, which is about there. We then got a second line. I 
and put it there. So we now have these two lines that make up our center section. What we're actually doing is we're saying that screen dot width, which goes from here to here, that's my width. When I actually halve that, what I'm doing is I'm actually taking it to here. Then I'm actually saying that my screen dot height is going from here to here. And when I halve that in two, it goes to here. But it doesn't actually start here. What actually happens is it actually makes that point, that dead center point, exactly where it starts. So in the case of our UWIN logo, we actually see it kind of like that. So what we need to do is we also need to find out what half of this image is to move it across half, as well as finding out what half of this height of the image is and subtracting that as well to make it dead center. So there's a little bit of maths involved, but that's where your skills will actually come through and it makes a difference between just an ordinary game to a great game. So very, very minor differences. So how can we do that here? Well, you can actually see that 512 is sitting right there. Now, the reason why I picked 512 and 256 earlier was because if I go screen dot width divided by two, and then I subtract half of 512. Now, what's half of 512? I'll help you out there with 256. So I'm actually taking away half of that image. And the same thing with the height. I'm actually going to take half of 128 and subtract that 128 with 64. Okay, so I'm going to save that. And again, if you have any issues with this positional stuff, you need to come and ask me questions. But going back to Unity, quickly play testing. And remember last time, the U1 label was about here. We actually want to fix that. And hopefully we have. So now it's appearing in the dead center of the screen. And that's exactly what we wanted to occur. The other thing that we I've just realized what we've missed is that restart game button isn't actually sitting exactly where we want. We want that down at the bottom of the screen as well. So we can fix that up as well. The restart button is located here. Remember, we've commented the restart button to press. And we actually want to put that in the center as well. So rather than doing 10 and 50 like we have, let's do screen dot width divided by two. And let's also do screen dot height divided by two. So let's have, again, let's quickly play test that one. Drive through. And you'll see that our restart game button isn't here over anymore, but it's dead center of the across section and up, but you'll see that it's off that side again just like this image is like that. So we have to take the half of whatever the length of the image or the button is and half of the height. So let's just unplay that. So what we need to do is screen dot width divided by two. And what's half of 300? Well, we know that's 150. So let's save that because we need it to be centered. Now we're going to go back here, go play. And you can see now why the finish line is definitely not at the other end of the track. And now you'll see that the restart game button is in the center as well. So what we need to do is we actually need to drop that down. We don't want the restart game over the top of everything. So we need to drop it down a bit. So we're just going to manually add just a little bit of height to that. So we're going to go half of the screen height divided by two, which puts it in the dead center of the height of the screen. And then it's going to add a little bit to it to make it go down a little bit again. Save. And let's just play test, see what that looks like. So again, driving through. Now you can see that restart game button has moved down for us, which is good. Now you'll see that it's not 100% lined up. And the reason for that is this U1 Picture doesn't line up perfectly either. So I'm going to go back into Photoshop and edit this image. Let's just apply those description before. And let's just move that into the center exactly where we want it. So I'm just going to set up Voila. And that's about center there. So 
say save that, go back to Unity, you'll see that it's loaded up a bit better, and now that should be a lot better in terms of its center. There you go. And if I wanted to restart the game, it gets rid of that U1 label as well. Much better than that little white thing that we had. So in the next video, what we're actually going to be looking at is the new EBT uh, energy bar system to actually get our racing gauges in as well as actually being able to manipulate it to the speed of that car to give some more player feedback. But keep playing around in Photoshop and really start to play around with those numbers to get the positions that you're after and to really start to understand that concept.